As we've touched on many times in this series, computers are incredible at storing, organizing, fetching, and processing huge volumes of data. That's perfect for things like e-commerce websites with millions of items for sale, and for storing billions of health records for quick access by doctors. But what if we want to use computers not just to fetch and display data, but to actually make decisions about data? This is the essence of machine learning, algorithms that give computers the ability to learn from data and then make predictions and decisions. Computer programs with this ability are extremely useful in answering questions like, is this email spam? Does a person's heart have arrhythmia? Or what video should YouTube recommend after this one? While useful, we probably wouldn't describe these programs as intelligent in the same way we think of human intelligence. So even though the terms are often interchanged, most computer scientists would say that machine learning is a set of techniques that sits inside the even more ambitious goal of artificial intelligence, or AI for short. AI uses a wide range of algorithms to make fast, reliable, and accurate customer predictions. Let's view some examples of these predictions. AI can predict the preferred merchants of a customer in a specific location. This is Mia. She is 27. She is single and she loves to travel. Mia travels to Istanbul. This is her purchase history. Recommended merchants in Istanbul based on Mia's purchase. Mia is now visiting Istanbul for the fourth time. The geolocation detect the event. Mia now starts to receive text messages on offers and discounts from all the merchants who she visited in her previous visits to Istanbul. Mia next travels to London. The geolocation now detects London, and Mia again starts to receive notifications on discounts and offers from all those merchants from whom she had made purchases in the past. AI can predict the preferred merchant of a customer. This is Adam. He is 42. He is married. And Adam is a business. to suggest products to users based on their browsing and purchase history, preferences, and behavior. The recommendation system analyzes customer data to identify patterns and trends in their purchase behavior and recommends products that interest them. This helps to improve customer satisfaction and increase sales by offering personalized recommendations that meet the needs of each customer. So, machine learning in simple words is input of data plus algorithms, Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence, which works based on self-learning algorithms using the past experiences or data set without being explicitly programmed. Self-learning algorithms are algorithms which will learn by itself and take sown decisions or predictions. Types of machine learning techniques, what are they? There are primarily three types of machine learning, supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning. 
So to conclude, we have understood what are algorithms, what is machine learning, and we have seen the examples of usage of machine learning. Thank you for watching the video. In our next video, we will learn about the different types of machine learning in detail.